All right, I wanted to share with you our OPXT call from today in our live trading chat room at greatstockfix.com. These are five minute candles. Now, it doesn't look like much here, um, very tight base, but I'll, I'll go over the reasons why I called it and why it made a lot of sense. Okay, the opening candle put in a high of 260. All right, revisited 260 again here, and then really just a, after this little lunchtime dip, a long base. All right, now already you got to like the. Um, you know the fact that it hit 260 twice and then was basing right below it in and of itself 261 is interesting with a stop below that base without these other factors i'm getting ready to show you now if you look at yesterday's high 272 okay so now if you break 260 you got a chance to test yesterday's high all right so why why is that a big deal well normally you always want you know if you can break the previous day's high that's another possible catalyst really in any stock but the most important thing about opxt is the daily chart and there it is this is yesterday I've, I've omitted today's uh candle just to show you now when i found that base and i saw the yesterday's high again here it is 272 um and remember it was basing right below 260 today so 261 could easily get you to 273 which is yesterday's high but this is even more a break of yesterday's high is even more of a catalyst than just a random hey it could break yesterday's high right because um all of a sudden out of the blue on Friday, when I say yesterday, I mean Friday, you had 11 million shares on a stock that doesn't come anywhere near averaging that and a nice gap up. So, you know, obviously good news. I don't know what the news was. And typically if I'm trading off the chart, I don't care. I just know that there's a uh, this thing had a really nice move. And if it gets through that big volume pop high from Friday, there's a good chance more people pile in. So the beauty of it was that we had a base right at 260 that I just showed you on the five minute chart. 261 is very close to 273, which is a break of Friday's high and another potential catalyst. So now I'll add in um, today's candle and you can see it went all the way to 294. That doesn't look like a big move, but from 261, let's go to fives again. Remember, this is what it looked like when I showed it to you. And when I called it in our chat room, I said 261 with a stop at uh, a nickel below, 256. Uh, so a nickel risk. And you can see it didn't really matter because once it hit 261, I mean, in 10 minutes, it's over 270. And there's yesterday's high. And then through that, and really held up pretty well. So we got over a 10% move there from 261. Again, it doesn't sound like much, 30-something um, cents. But on a $2 stock, that's a real nice move. So that's the best highlight from today. Most of the morning was spent uh, quietly looking for ideas because the SPY was in a very narrow range today. Wasn't much fun to trade. But then, you know, you're clicking around and you find a setup like OPXT. It can make sitting there all day worthwhile. So anyway, I'm not going to babble. I'll let you go and we'll uh, follow up with a highlight video tomorrow night from what we do in our chat room on Tuesday. Have a great night.